only one on one with Cameron's podcast, and this is Raw Alpha Show, baby. Don't hesitate to subscribe and like this video, baby. And also go check all the stuff down below in the description below. And we are on the road to SummerSlam. It is so crazy. Eventually, it's gonna be WrestleMania season all over again. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. All right. Let's get started. All right. Raw opens up with a video package highlighting Great Balls of Fire. After the video showcasing the brutal from last night's ambulance match, which was insane, my dad. What are the points for y'all questioning yourself why you love wrestling? Would that match probably answer that question for you? Alright, let's continue on. Uh, Big Cass heads to the ring to deliver a promo. Which, how do they go from the main event ending in such a weird, com weird way and brutal way, my ad, questionable way, to no one cares about Big Cass? Just saying. Anyways, let's get you on. Big Cash shows some pics of his performance against Enzo at Great Balls of Fire. He also shows a clip of Enzo being helped to the back with, with a pair of refs. He issues a warning to the whole locker room and says everyone who misses with him will suffer the same fate as his former friend. Cash says he is the future and vows to win the Universal Champion Championship one day. I don't like to see that happen. And he says when he does win it, he will shove the victory down the throats of anyone who doubted him. Um, so he will eventually main event WrestleMania. And no one is bigger than Big Cass. And eventually, of course, this leads to Big Show coming out. No one is bigger than Big Show. Let's get real. He's a legend. And let's get you on. Um, Cass stands his ground as Big Show enters the ring. He steps up to him and shows the delivers a headbutt. They start brawling and end up on the mat. Cass retreats before Big Show get hit the KO punch. I have to say I love Big Show and I'm so happy he's a part of WWE still. Um, but I think he has still so much potential within him. Um, I think he should have one more last like WWE title. I don't know. I mean that's my opinion. Sorry, my nose is really itchy right now. Allergy season. Finn Bay, uh, Balor versus Alice Sampson. Finn Balor won. I'm, see, last week I said Bailey. I almost did it. <laughs> All right, let's get you on. The uh, Hardy Boys versus Anderson and Gallows. Um, Anderson and Gallows won. Scott Dal Dawson and Dash Waller come to the ring after the match intact. The Hardys. Yeah, I love the rival, right? The Miz Rod in the ring for the first of Miz Rod. We just gonna skip on to this. Um, he eventually gets credit to uh, Ambrose by saying he's the toughest competitor he's ever faced, but he only did it so he could brag about beating him. And the lunatic Fringe comes out to the ring and attacks Miz immediately, but he's outnumbered by Dallas and Axel in the Miz, and eventually. Seth Rollins comes out and helps Dean Ambrose and uh, they send Miss Rod running to in the segment. Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss. Bailey and Sasha Banks won. I love Sasha. I think she's amazing. In my opinion, that's my opinion though. So we just gonna keep it there. Goddess versus our truth. Goldust won. I actually wonder when they were going to have a match. Like, they didn't, like, having this same goddamn feud for the last, what, several months now? I don't even know how long it's been. I know it's not really interesting. I know that much. I'm happy to see Goldust back, though. Um, but let's get real. Look at her. Um, uh, Kurt Angle is out after the break to give an update on Strowman and congratulate um, Lesnar on his win. I also like to add he didn't really give us an update on Braun Strowman at all. Let's just be clear there. He just said he didn't know his status and didn't know if 
when he'll return. He'll probably be back next week. Let's just be real right there, right there. Um, eventually, uh, Roman comes out. Um, oh, sorry. Um, Ango brings up Lesnar's neck con uh, challenger. Um, and Heyman and Lesnar try to leave, but Roman Reigns comes out. That's what I was trying to get at. Um, and of course, Angle says he has a lot of nerve coming out after what he did to Strongman. And then Angle says that, you know, that it's not the same when it was back then in the Attitude Era, which I wish they would bring back, quite honestly. Um, let's see. He says Angle and Lesnar used to be much of Valentin than he was. And like I said, he said that that's then and this is now. I thought Lesnar is still violent. He's pretty insane. Is that just me? I'm not just... Just not... Yeah, okay. Anyways. Um, blah, 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 blah. Heyman thinks Reigns versus Lesnar is a good deal, But Lesnar, um, you know, says that he doesn't deserve... <clears throat> Shit. There you go. <laughs> um, WWE censors him just in time. Um, eventually probably you two will probably be doing that. Just go through videos and just censor people without people doing it for them, for the self. Just saying, it probably is what's gonna happen. Heyman gets in the middle of everyone and says Joe will get never get another title shot. Um, this goes on for a while and uh Angle tells everyone to calm down, books Joe versus Reigns next week for a title shot at some uh some SummerSlam. Can I went straight today? Well, what happened to last week when Reigns said he was the number one good dude. I'm so confused. Anyway, so let's get to you. Um, uh, Erica Tazara and Cedric Alexander versus Noam Dar and Neville. Erica Tazara and Cedric Alexander. One, I've been working on Tazara's name for a little bit. Hopefully, I'm doing a little bit better than I was. Uh, Rollins gives an interview and says he didn't get out go out earlier for Ambrose to help Ambrose um he did it to shut up the miss someone has to right Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt won a uh, wide disappears from the ring the Miz straw come through the crowd and surround the ring like the shield used to I like how everyone's like I'll do all the shield renewing it don't I realize that that's just not going to happen I wish it would don't get me wrong I love the shield um, do do do. Ambrose comes down with chair and cleans house. Um, he hits the miss several times on the chair before his before Axel and Bo Dallas helps him get out of the ring. I like to add that Dallas and Axel make a weird addition to the Mistrod. This is weird. I said Mistrod, but you know, my. Autocorrect always does the mix trot, so I don't know. Maybe it's mix. <laughs> um, backstage, we see Angle talking to someone on the phone. He says he loves him. We see we'll see him next week, and I said it would be interesting. Rating 80, 80 out of 80. Great show matches as we look on to SummerSlam, and next week, Raw will be interesting. I think it's gonna be De uh, Dixie. Is that her name? Dixie. <laughs> see, y'all ain't keeping up with things, anyways. Um, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this and give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe and go check out all the stuff down below, baby. Check out the latest video and the t-shirt brought her. And I'll see you guys next time for SmackDown Live After Show. That's it, folks. Bye!